Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the Sim Shack and welcome back to me, Sim UK. This is Ships at Sea, and today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about um, setting up your boat to go long line fishing and make some huge, huge profits. So if we look at the map very quickly, first thing to do, if we come in here and look at the filter, we'll turn the cargo off, the fish farms off, we'll keep the fish habitats on, we'll keep the fuel stations on, the route on, we'll turn off the sea markers for now, and um, we'll leave fishing gear on, because when you start dropping your long lines, you want to know where they are. So the map itself is pretty large, and these are the fish habitats down here. One, two, three at the bottom in the south, <clears throat> four, five, six, seven, and I think there's an eighth one up here, eight. Now you'll notice that each one has a different um, likelihood of uh, catching fish. This is excellent for catching halibut, but the overall amount of fish you'll notice is quite low, actually. So it's not in abundance at this time of year. A few more fish over here, good for pretty much everything, to be honest with you. This one would be terrible for fishing if you're aiming for halibut. And this one is good for haddock. Down in the bottom, this is usually good for cod. This time it's good for haddock. And this one is good for cod. But you'll notice that the overall amount varies on all of them. So regardless where you decide to go, with your initial boat, your initial fishing boat, you are going to struggle like Billio to get here and get back. So there's a few things you need to do, and it's quite important that you do pretty much all of these things in order to get there and to get back. So first thing you would do is come here to the shipyard and you would come in over to your laptop. You would click on boats and you will pick this one. It's Flippy. Flippy is a lovely boat. And over here you have upgrades. First thing you want to upgrade is the propeller. It's the cheapest, most effective thing. So once you've purchased, you click and hold to buy, you have to press install. Make sure that it's on your boat before you leave the dock. <clears throat> so you've got your upgraded propeller. What that will do is it will make your boat go twice as fast, um, but use the same amount of fuel. So it's like doubling your fuel consistency. Very cheap, very effective. Now, in order to go long line fishing, you need to have this spinny thing here. It's like um, uh, basically an assistant that hauls the long line up so that you don't have to. So you have to purchase that and then you have to again install it. And if you don't see it there, then it's not installed. OK, so that's all you need to do on the boat. There is a third option. Now, what I'm showing you there will get you to the nearest one and back if you're just doing one line, maybe two. It's going to be difficult. But uh, there is another upgrade as well. Uh, the internal fuel tank. Now, this is not cheap. 45,000, 60,000. But if you want to go to the further distances and get the best fish you can, that's what you're going to need to do. In addition to that, whilst you're thinking about what you want to do, um, if we come over here to fishing and click on fish types, you can see that the season um is dictated here so don't go fishing for cod if it's outside of september or april because you're not going to catch many if any and i think the price probably will reflect that as well i'm not sure if the price will be higher or lower or what but um there's a lot of fish that you can catch and they all have different um seasons that you can fish for them it may be illegal to fish for them outside of the season i don't entirely know so once you've picked A, the fish type, you're going to... Uh, oh my god, look at the storm. Bloody hell, where did that come from? Goodness me. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was fine out here two minutes ago. Anyway, it is early access, don't forget, guys. Um, so, before we go to the shop, actually, there's a couple of things you desperately will need to have. First of all, if you go into your skill tree, there is the eco-driving skill. 
If you've got it on Eco Driving 2, you should be able to get to the nearest fishing point and back again with one fish load. Eco Driving 3, I think, would be the best. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 10% less fuel, I think, with each one. So 10% less fuel, 20%, 30% less fuel. Quite important, in fact. In addition to that, you're going to have to click on Fishing and learn the Longliner skill. If you don't do that, you won't be able to fish. Okay, let's go to the shop first. The lightning coming down. Absolutely stunning. I think they've just re-enabled uh, re this and now they're like, just have storms all the time. <laughs> I don't mind, personally. I mean, getting out of here is going to be hell on earth, but um, it's going to be fun at the same time. So if you go to the shop, you are desperately going to need a hook. Um, the binoculars are quite useful, but a hook, definitely useful. Um, if you don't have a hook, you can't get the fish in at all. You can purchase these ping me upgrades. Um, they're 40 grand. They're not cheap, but it does make it really easy to locate your um, fishing lines once you put them down. But to be honest with you, the technique I'm going to show you today, it's not relevant. So we've got our boat. We've configured it for long lining. We've got our training for long lining. We've bought the hook. Now we need the gear and the bait. So we'll enter the fishery and based on what kind of fish you want to catch, um, you will pick which bait block you want. Now I know for a fact that shrimp um, are very good at catching cod. So I was trying to catch cod so I bought some of these. Um, they're not that expensive, so you might as well buy the 20k one. I've never actually seen one of these run out, so in early access, maybe that's not even implemented yet. But they do go out of date. So just play around with that until you find a, a, a good balance. But they're not too expensive, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Now, as for the long lines themselves, you have got 250 hooks, which isn't much. You have uh, 500 hooks. 1,000 hooks and two and a half thousand hooks. Now I took three two and a half thousand hooks out, missed half the fish that I hauled in, and still earned nearly 400,000k. So there's good money to be made, but the tip, the tip is, the trick and the tip is, don't go out there and fish one line, because you're not really going to make enough profit off that. When you factor in the fuel, which is about 20 grand, maybe more, um, the fact that you've got to buy the bait and the line and everything. So your first trip out there to do one line, you're going to come back with maybe a couple of thousand. Um, and that's just not profitable. It's going to take you like an hour to do this, by the way. So um, getting out there in this weather is going to be really tricky. Really tricky. Once you use a long line, um, it does disappear from your boat. So you're actually, for the time being at least, going to have to use a long line, uh, buy a long line every single time you go out there. So that's quite uh, an expensive purchase. So you'll plot your course by using the left mouse button to go to the nearest fishing point that you can reach. It tells you how many kilometres you can travel. Um, you're going to have to factor in how far your your particular boat in its particular configuration can get to and back again. So when you get close enough to the fish habitat, you'll turn on your sonar. Your sonar will, it will show you where particular fish are frequenting. And then you can change your, um, your route to accommodate that. Now, it's possible to lay lines down right in the middle of all four fish, and then you'll get the best of all worlds. You'll get all kinds of fish on there, but the priority will be based on the type of bait that you've put down. Now, the thing about the thing that's new with this game, and I think it's absolutely fantastic, um, is that it's um, the, the fish actually move around now, so they don't stay in one place. So... It is possible that you could, I suppose, just anchor up and wait for the fish to come to you or maybe take a risk and put a line down where you think the fish are going to uh, pop up. doesn't really matter what, how, when or where, but um, it's important that you 
um, do try and catch the fish that you want. So once you put a long line down, at the moment there's a bit of a bug in the early access game. The game will crash if you're out there fishing for too long. So my recommendation is to put one line down and then click on the clock in the cockpit and skip time for 12, 13, 14 hours perhaps. And then pick up that first line before you put down your second line. That seems to stop the crashing and it gives you a much better chance of getting back to shore without the game crashing and you losing the lot. So that would be my recommendation. Three lines, as I say, can pull in easily 400,000 more if you can haul the fish in. Um, and in order, to, in order to haul the fish in, you need to pull up alongside the last um, buoy. So not where you started laying the long line, but where you ended laying the long line. And from there you can pick up the long line and you have to have your hook in your hand and you need to try and get that hook into the mouth of the fish as they're coming in. It's not as easy as you might think. Um, there may be some early access bugs there that are stopping some of the fish from being caught at all. Um, I don't really know, but um, it is quite difficult, I have to say. And I like that. I like that it's difficult. If it was easy, it would be boring. So once you've got as many fish as you can in the boat, there is a maximum amount of fish that you can have, but um, I don't honestly know what that limit is. I don't even know if it's being implemented in early access. So just fill up the boat as much as you can as soon as you've got a full load or you've run out of bait or you've run out of hooks or whatever, then uh, you're good to go back to shore. On the way back to shore, if you run out of fuel, you can call for assistance, or if the weather's really bad, like it was in this particular instance, uh, you can call for assistance and it will take you straight back to shore. So once you get back to shore, um, you will come back down here to this building, to the fishery, and you will click on this and you will sell all fish. Just keep clicking sell all fish until all your fish have been sold and then your lovely lovely profits will come in and you'll be able to uh, progress and move on to the next thing so hopefully that's helpful please hit the like button if uh, you want more tips and advice do hang around and make sure to say hi so that uh, i know i'm reaching some people out there and helping some people out there thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one till next time take care and goodbye for now